police are still investigating a motive. President Hamilton is on his way to the Middle East this morning for his scheduled visit with Pakistani President Farooq Salam. The meeting is viewed as an attempt by the U.S. to strengthen relations amidst a surge of anti-American sentiment in the region. Yo, me ninja brother! George, good to see you up and about. How you feeling? Never better, nah? No pain, no more star while them hunger space eat, and me never ever feel so awake, nah? That's because your blood sugar levels are being maintained automatically. Beats the hell out of coffee. Oh! Me been here you go while I got them scone in the base. Why the rasa you not take me with you, huh? Damn it, Doc. Sorry, kid. You'd just be in the way. Aww. Besides, I thought you didn't want to be a killer, right? Me don't, but... Killing isn't fun in games. Remember that. Right. <laughs> That's all I needed to hear. No! It yearns to bathe in the blood of your enemies, but you hold it back. Yeah, just remember that. Sorry, Boris, it's done. Can't have a Maverick employee involved in a corporate raiding now, can we? You could at least come talk to me. No. It was time to break away from the old team, Boris. Past time. You cannot take on Marshall all by yourself. I won't sit by while they butcher little kids and ship their parts around like meat. It's sick. It's not all so simple, Ryder. They import those brains legally, for medical purposes. It's all done. Being legal doesn't make it right. Ryder, I... Hold that thought! Cyborg, you are not licensed to operate in this area. You're in violation of state and federal law. Guess you'd better arrest me then. <laughs> 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 Eighteen three one zero four point seven, threatening a peace officer. Deadly force is authorized. Jetstream Sam. I heard you chopped the lab director in half. Old habits die hard, eh, Jack? But now here you are. The child soldier fighting for the children. <laughs> Please. What do you really expect to accomplish here? Place Savior to a bunch of brains? And what? Earn a medal? Right, Jack. No matter how many Mexican kids we've got, or Africans we've buried, the First World looks away. No one gives a shit. 
Not the media, not the politicians, certainly not the average Joe. Too busy fretting for money, or sex, religion, fame. is a means to an end, to protect those you'd prey on. Really? Let me ask you, all those cyborgs you've killed up to now, maybe they weren't kids, but they were people. You ever think about them? When you're chopping them into hamburger? <laughs> they're adults. They made their choice. Sure they're adults. Sure they signed up for this. Right on the dotted line of their BMC contract. Usually, they're no strangers to war. In fact, many times they already lost a limb or two. Many times they were out of work and starving on the street. So yes, they sign up for surgery to fight God knows where. How else would you provide for your family when your country's embroiled in civil war? Pain receptors shut down, pumped full of fear-inhibiting nanomachines and sent right into the blender? Your blender? But they made their choice, right? Open your eye and see, Raiden. I've seen plenty. Then listen. Those battlefield emotions that the Nano suppress. Listen to them. What are you talking about? Shh. missions. He proved most capable. You think highly of him. I have always found him dependable. Until now. Scouting data for the next area. I'll patrol ahead. You follow.
How pleased you are to chop away, Jack the Ripper. My name is Monsoon, of the Winds of Destruction. Yeah, I guessed as much. on the insides of your enemies? How easily you ignore the loss of life when it suits your convenience. So tell me, who saves the weak from the man who saves the weak? You're the ones exploiting them. You take advantage of their weakness. Of course they get hurt when you set them up as your human shield. Kill or be killed, Jack. Phnom Penh taught me that. Yes, you aren't the only one to grow up on the killing fields. War is a cruel parent, but an effective teacher. Its final lesson is carved deep in my psyche. That this world and all its people are diseased. Free will is a myth. Religion is a joke. We're all parts, controlled by something greater. Memes. The DNA of the soul. They shape our will. They are the culture. They are everything we pass on. Expose someone to anger long enough, they will learn to hate. They become a carrier. Envy, greed, despair. All means are passed on. How about food? Shit. Is that a meme? You can't fight nature, Jack. Wind blows, rain falls, and the strong prey upon the weak. <sighs> Sam tells me you see your weapon as a tool. Something that saves lives, a means of justice. Now there's a pretty meme. Exquisite. It spared you the burden of all the lives you've taken. Absolved you of guilt when you enjoyed it. That is, until the illusion was broken. Don't be ashamed. It's only nature running its course. You have no choices to make, nothing to answer for. You can die with a clear conscience. You're right. About me, I mean. I knew something was off. After the Patriots, I thought I could walk off the battlefield and into a normal life. But here I am, surrounded by death, arguing philosophy with terrorists. I told myself this was about justice, about protecting the weak. But I was wrong. <laughs> then you admit it. I learned young that killing your enemies felt good. Really good. In America, my friends, my family, they helped me forget the devil inside. But who am I kidding? I was born to kill! <sighs> the bit about my sword, that means of justice stuff, I guess I needed something to keep the Ripper in check when I was knee-deep in bodies. You? But you, all this, is a wake-up call to what I really believe. What I really am. What are you saying? I'm saying Jack is back. Doctor, turn off my pain inhibitors. What? 
This... This is madness! You... Do it! All right. Ha ha ha! 
Fine, Kevin. Relax. I'll get the brains. I don't want this for anyone else. 
All right, man. Later. <laughs> <laughs>